this is one of the most expensive uh, ticket for any attraction. You have to pay 2,000 US dollars to be able to go inside the tour. You are going inside the tour. Watch your head. Yeah. <laughs> Another day in Egypt and a very important day because today we are going to visit pyramids. Many people they think that pyramids are in Cairo. No, they are in Giza, another town, but it's not far from Cairo. So we left Cairo for a day trip and today we are exploring the historic part of Egypt. Before going to Giza and Saqqara, we actually stopped in Memphis to see a little bit of earlier stages of how they were building things. It's not like the most impressive stuff, it's not the biggest, but it still it gives you an idea of the potential that they had already at the time. Memphis was one of the oldest and most important cities in ancient Egypt. It served as the capital of the Old Kingdom and a political and cultural center for over 3,000 years. It was also the city where the pharaohs were crowned. The ancient city was known for its grand temples and palaces. Over time, the city was largely abandoned and we can see its ruins today. It's not a big site and the two highlights of this open air museum are the alabaster phoenix and the enormous colossus of Ramses II. This giant statue of Ramses is 3,200 years old. Can you believe that? The next stop is Saqqara. We start our visit by going into a tomb inside a small pyramid. You are going inside the pyramid. Watch your head. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Especially me. We can only go inside with a designated guy. Stars, the better make them in a block of life store. You don't have to pay him, but apparently that's not really the case. Everyone here expects you to tip. To visit pyramids, we decided to go with a tour guide to learn more. Our tour included three different sites and now we are in Saqqara, which is a very large site. Only 20% of the site has been uh, discovered. The pyramids of Giza might be more known and famous to the world, but Saqqara is the largest archaeological site in Egypt and a very important one. Saqqara was an ancient city close to Memphis. Kings and noblemen from the very first two dynasties were buried here. Basically, Saqqara is an enormous ancient graveyard. Apart from all of that, the very first pyramid was built here in Saqqara. As you can see, this is the oldest pyramid behind me. Pharaoh Joseph from the Third Dynasty built the 60 meter tall step pyramid 4,700 years ago. Before that, pharaohs were buried in a smaller mastaba tomb, which robbers could easily reach by digging in from the top. The step pyramid of Djoser made it almost impossible for a robber to reach the burial chamber by digging in from the top. So after that, pharaohs started building pyramids. And now we are in the north gate and here we can, we cannot because we cannot afford it, it's too expensive just to go inside. This is one of the most expensive a ticket for any attraction. You have to pay 2,000 US dollars to be able to go inside the tomb. 
while the pyramids may have offered enhanced protection, people eventually broke into them. And today, most of the burial goods, including the mummy of Joseph, are long gone. 3 meters to take photos and we did it and the other pyramids you are not allowed to climb at all so it makes sense the Giza pyramids are three massive structures, all part of a larger complex. They were built 4,500 years ago as monuments to house the tomb of the pharaohs. Egypt pharaohs believed that they would become gods in the afterlife, and to prepare for their journey, they started building their tombs while still alive. They filled the pyramids with all things each ruler would need to guide and sustain himself in the next world. The Great Pyramid served as the tomb of the 4th century pharaoh Khufu. It is the largest of the three pyramids of Giza. It is 147 meters tall and it's estimated 2.3 million stone blocks each weighed an average of 2.5 to 15 tons. Khufu's son, Pharaoh Khafri, built the second pyramid at Giza. His necropolis also included the phoenix, a mysterious limestone monument with the body of a lion and a pharaoh's head. I've always seen a lot as a child about the Sphinx, a lot of images, a lot of like, you know, drawings, but I never actually uh, saw it in person, so it's nice to finally see it in person. It's quite impressive. The third of the Giza pyramids is considerably smaller than the first two. It was built by Pharaoh Menkau. All the images I had from pyramids is from the movies or books that I read. When you come here and you are kind of shocked because you see cars going around because all the images are the old images. But it's so nice. Like usually you need to walk a lot and under the sun there is no shade. So if you are coming here, bring a bottle of water with you. Thank <laughs> you. 